Ashu Kamara had what she describes as the best childhood anyone could ask for. She lived in a small village of only 200 people in early home. Early life insisted of farming, fetching water for river, and cook. Mary Atu did in school, but it was the only life she knew and she was very happy. But one night her life changed forever. She was only 12 when rebel forces invaded her village, held her captive, then cut off her hands. So when they cut off my hands, I passed out, which I thought it was a dream, which I could, I could wake up in the next morning, but it wasn't a dream. And uh, 10 years later, I'm still wishing, up to today, I was really, I'm still wishing that it's just a dream, but I'm just keep wishing. And 10 years later, I still don't have my hands. I lost them forever for, um, for a senseless uh, war in my own country. When Mary Atu first arrived in Canada, she had to deal with extraordinary obstacles, physically and emotionally scarred, unable to read or write or communicate in English. She desperately missed her family, challenges that would be hard for any adult to overcome. But this courageous young woman was determined to survive. She proudly graduated from high school. She is now in post-secondary studies at George Brown College in the Assaulted Women and Children's Counselor Advocate Program. Yeah, and the reason why I picked this program because I really think that it's a good choice for me based on what I have been through and that I'm going to have so much, um, so much thing to gain from this program and to give, also give. Her memoir, The Bite of the Mango, co-written by her nominator, Susan McClellan, tells the story of her life in Sierra Leone, her capture by the rebel soldiers, and how she came to live in Canada. Mary Atu speaks publicly about the impact of war on children for Free the Children. She is now a UNICEF Canada Special Representative for Children and Armed Conflict. Her future goals include working for the United Nations and counseling abused women and children. She has also set up a foundation to help provide housing for victims of war in Sierra Leone. Mary Atu is a role model for other young people. She shares her heartbreaking story of rape, torture, the death of her child, and having to beg on the streets. Her story stands as a source of inspiration to others. They too can overcome their worst fears, find their talents, seek a purpose, and live life to the fullest. For Xerox Canada, it's an honor to sponsor the New Pioneers Youth Award. Support for youth is an investment in a better future, and that's what Xerox is all about. We recognize that today's youth will be tomorrow's leaders, and our corporate contributions mandate centers on providing support and encouragement to these leaders of tomorrow. Mary Atu Kamara is an inspirational young woman who exemplifies the best of humanity. She says her story is just one among many. Mary Atu has forgiven her attackers. They are from her country and also suffered. The 2009 recipient of the New Pioneers Youth Award is Mariatu Kamara.